All right, another Java 8 tutorial, and in this one, I'm going to talk about the Java 8 streams filter function. So, as with the last video, I have a POJO. It's just something called product info. It's got four fields. It's got a constructor, getters and setters. It's got a two string, and we have a product name, product UPC, product price, and quantity. Pretty straightforward stuff. And then. Um, what we're doing here first is just instantiating four of these. I've got apples, pears, bananas, onions, and they all have different prices and whatnot. Um, and then I've got a uh, set of all of these products into an array. So what I'm doing here is just putting them into an array and then I'm converting that array into a list. So now I have a Java list as a, a list of products. Um, and just to prove that to you, I'll run this code and then you can see I have I print out the products and it's just a list of all the product infos. So what are we gonna do? First we're going to do a filter function and this is a stream processing function so we're gonna say products dot stream and that gets us into stream processing and then I'm gonna say filter and the filter is something that takes it says it takes a predicate but basically this is a function that is going to return a uh, true or false and what's going to happen is if uh, it meets the filter criteria it will pass it into the result so it's kind of hard to explain unless I just show you so let's do filter and the predicate is going to be um, a function so it's going to be a function and it's going to take product info and then this is going to be a lambda function again so this is a lambda function and then I'm going to return I'm going to look for only cheap products how about that so we'll say any product that is less than a dollar we're going to return so I'll return uh, whoops I'll return product info dot get price is less than uh, one zero zero and then I'm going to say collectors collect to a list and the reason I have to do this with collectors is because uh, what happened was I turned it into a stream and then I filtered that stream and now I need to collect the output of the stream into something I can use and I'm gonna collect it into a list and then you're gonna see we're gonna get the same type of uh, list back as we put in and this is unlike map where map could possibly return the same type of product but map can do anything it wants filter it's it's essentially just doing something you return a boolean operation so you're gonna return a true you're gonna do a boolean operation or return a true or false and if you return a true it's going to continue on in the stream and then you can collect it out so let's see what we should uh, get out in this uh, cheap product list uh, I'll put an S on here so it's more obvious that it's a list. Uh, let's run this. All right, yep. And so here we go. So this is the first output. I can just, that's, we can comment that out, I guess. Um, and then this is the second output. This is the actual result that we want to look at. I'm going to always save this. And then so our output is a banana with price 33 cents and then onions with price 89 cents. So that's how filter works. Uh, it's just an error function system. You've got your uh, your lambda function and that's your predicate and then you're gonna return a boolean and that'll let the stream continue on. So that was just a quick tutorial on how filter works in the stream. Thanks for watching.